Hello everyone, my name is Vail and I am an PhD student at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In this video, I'll be going to share the exam hall strategy for IIT Jam Biotechnology 2024. So let's start with the video. Uh, here are some journal tips for the exam. Take the proper sleep the night before exam. Don't worry much. Stay calm and trust your hard work. You have worked for the whole year or at least few months before you have worked very hard. So trust your hard work. Trust the process. Eventually everything will be fine. Stay positive towards the result. Don't think negative. Don't let the negative thoughts to like come over your mind and affect your exam. So these are the some preparations you must be prepared with before the exam day. Arrange your admit card, get it print done or the ID. Whatever to be carried to the exam hall, pack it in a bag so that to avoid the hustle before leaving for the exam center. Keep a water bottle with you. So, it will help to stay hydrated during the exam. Don't forget to keep the pen with you. And try to reach the exam center before time to avoid any hassle at the last moment. So, uh, here comes the most awaited part, the exam hall strategy. See, do the, your exam is divided into three subparts. First one is MCQs and NAT portion, numerical aptitude type questions, and MSQ questions, multiple select questions. See, uh, visit the whole question paper, do the question paper, solve it in two rounds, right? In the first round, do the questions you are very sure about, like, like it happens now if we have very uh, good preparation or we have encountered a particular question a uh, very frequent number of times. So when I, as soon as we read the question, the answer will stick in our mind. So if you'll find such questions in the paper or when or do whatever, if you are sure about the answer, mark it. And uh, solve those memory-based questions or solve the questions which like you think it it can be solved within one minute. And skip those questions which you feel that it will take more time. And do please do not waste a time on a single particular question. Like you will solve this question, then you will go to another. No, don't do this because you have very limited time. After completing these questions, which are easy to solve and you can make them in uh, less time, then in the second round, like visit the questions again. In the second round, do solve the questions which you feel you can do ready. And if you fail to do some questions or it is taking more than three minutes, just skip and jump to the next question and keep this question to solve at the end. Okay. Do not waste much time on a single question. Do not try to attract negative marks by attempting the questions which you are not aware of the solutions and or you are not sure of what you have marked. And you have some confusion that it may be wrong or right. So try to avoid attempting such questions. Otherwise, you will attract negative marks. And whatever you have earned by solving correct questions, you will lose the marks in it. In incorrect questions by attracting negative marks. So it's not be a wise decision. Attempt all the NAT and MSQ questions because there is no negative marking in NAT or MSQ section. Skip the MCQs which you are unaware of. You have never heard such type of concept or you are not sure of the answer or you have some confusion. Take risk of maximum two questions. Like two, three marks you can give a risk like 50% chances that I have marked the true option 
then you can give a chance to your luck but don't take risk of more than 3 4 marks because your rank will be at risk <laughs> your rank will be very like it will slip and if there here are some tips to solve mcqs read the question carefully pay attention if the question is asking for the correct correct option or not correct option read the question carefully because sometimes in hassel we do do not pay attention to the not part and end up marking the correct correct options so don't do that before reading options think the answer for the particular asked question for a while Eliminate the options which you think that there is no chance that this option will be correct. Eliminate those options first and then choose the correct option. Like if you have less number of choices, if the probability is high that you will end up marking the correct option. Tips for NAT, uh, write the formula first on the sheet because our hands to have a memory. Like, if you have solved the all the formulas by writing, then if you when when you write the formula in the example, if if you somehow wrote it wrong, your your hands will realize that this formula is wrong. So write the formula, and after re put put the values and solve the question, and do not forget to round it off to correct decimal points. Type it very wisely because sometimes in the excitement we type like the decimal points here and there and it will change our answer. Do calculation calmly, avoid silly mistakes, never trust your maths by hand. Do use calculator. But for the simple calculations, you can trust you, your maths. No? Get familiar with the scientific calculator beforehand before using it. If you are using the scientific calculator first time, or in the exam hall, then you will be in a trouble because you will not know how to practice, how to uh, get the log of something or exponential. So be familiar with the functions of scientific calculator. Simple ones, how to get the answer of a power of something, some exponential log, how to, what is the difference between natural log or log 10 power. So these things may attract like wrong answers. Here are some tips for MSQs. Read the question carefully. Do not overthink about the options. Otherwise, you'll end up marking all the options. Don't overthink. If you feel that this is the answer, then just mark. Uh, then once you're done with your, uh, it's, um, you have attempted all the questions, then just do a proofreading session. Visit all the questions again. Check for the errors or some if some typing error is there or you have uh, marked the wrong answer just in a hurry so double check the calculations of NAT if you have left with the time see if you score 60 plus you'll definitely will have a decent track so you can unmark the questions you are not sure in MSQs or in MCQs to avoid the negative marks if you have done till uh, you're good to start so at the end, I'll uh, suggest you to be calm. Your hard work will surely pay off. Don't think much. Don't overthink. Your hard work will surely pay off. You'll be, you'll be getting what you deserve as per your hard work. So don't let the negative thoughts to overpower your brain. Wishing you the luck for your exam. Do well. Hope to see you here in ISC soon. Uh, goodbye. See you. Best of luck for your exam again.